no denying that cross-country skiing is a very mental sport. Training from May 1st all the way into November and then doing a four-month grueling race season can be challenging. It's a full-time job. It's year-long. You're not always going to be at the very top of your game. Mentally pushing yourself to just keep going mile after mile, and that's extremely challenging. Just the other day, we were doing these really hard double pull intervals. It was a three minutes uphill grind. It was hard. Lactate levels were through the roof. Heart was just hammering. Legs were on fire. Everything hurt. And I just kept thinking, like, if I was tagging off in a team sprint, I would never give up. Team sprint in women's cross country. You can't give up. Jesse Dickens of the United States. When other people and their goals for the year are resting on my shoulders, I need to have trained myself to never give up. Jesse Dickens of the United States. The more you race and the more you kind of get to that place mentally and physically, the more rewarding it is when you actually have a great race. I've had those days where I feel like I'm the fastest in the world, and I've had those days where I feel like I, sh I should stop cross country skiing altogether. Trusting in your coaches, trusting in your training, using your teammates to help pick you up and, and push you towards a new level of fitness, that's what cross country skiing is all about. There are a lot of factors that go into maintaining peak performance. People often underestimate the mental aspect of that. Staying happy and motivated during the winter is definitely the hardest part. Being surrounded by friends and family is something that encourages really the best in everyone and makes you really proud to be with the people that you're with and doing what you're doing. You know, it doesn't feel good when you're actually in the race pushing yourself that hard. When you cross the finish line, you know you left everything out there. That's hard to beat.